So you talk about three pillars um, that, that are fundamental to your, your program, character, community, and culture. Tell us a little bit about those pillars and, and why have they been the cornerstones uh, that, that you've led with in trying to mold and, and shape the next generation of, of leaders? Well, I mean, I think this comes from two things, really. My dad, who always, you know, made clear to me and, and as I was getting into coaching and, and I watched him, you know, as, as an athletic director and, and things and talking to other coaches that, that you're more than it's, it's more than the game. It's, you mm-hmm. know, your, your, your opportunity to, to influence people. Um, and, and uh, you know, j- the, talking about the 50 guys in the room every day. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, listen, you come to, to Notre Dame and those, those guys that those 50 guys that are in our locker room every day, they they're lucky if they get a great professor twice, right? And mm-hmm. and and have that voice in their head. Um, they're gonna listen to me for four years, <clears throat> for better or worse. They're yeah. gonna hear my my voice and 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 almost every day. So I I I take it as a responsibility to be about more than just the game, and, and I because that's how I was raised and 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 how I believe athletics can be such a powerful force. And the other thing is is Notre Dame. Um, that the character culture community thing really uh, was not something I came here with when I was 29. But as I, as I was here and I saw uh, what Notre Dame is all about and, and, and learned, uh, you know, that, 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 is, that just fit, that fit what, you know, when I talk to families uh, about, you know, sending their son here and, and, uh, and, and that kind of thing, those are the things we talk about. Those are the things that are important. What, what is the culture of our team and our university? And, and, and you know, what, what are we doing in the community to, to help other people? Because we're talking about developing their son over the course of the next four or five years. And, and, and we, I want them to know that, that, yeah, we think they're going to leave a better lacrosse player and, 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 and have a chance to have these great experiences through the game. But, we also think, more importantly, they're going to grow as people, and 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 we want to be a really positive part of that. So there's three things that I've witnessed about your program over the years that uh, that have really separated it from even other programs, uh, spectacular programs here at Notre Dame. And one is that your teams have been so committed to service. I remember back in the day when I was working at the South Bend Center for the Homeless, I remember uh, the the number of lacrosse players that would come down to volunteer there or at the Robinson Community Learning Center. Um, you find a way to engage your teams in service um, regularly, and it's uh, it, it really, I think, sets the program apart. Secondly, um, I let think- me, Let me make one comment about the, the, please, the center. Yeah. The one thing I remember about the Center for the Homeless is you told me that the probably the only time in history that the men's lacrosse team and the junior league we're, we're sitting in the same room for an hour. Was it down at the homeless center? <laughs> one of the groups was uh, for an ori- a volunteer orientation. Let's just say that one of the groups was a little uh, better appointed, better dressed than the other. I like that. It was a really an odd combination, but a beautiful combination. 